I thought maybe this would be interesting to someone. I'm shipping a transmission, uh, the transmission from the Insight from this car, first gen Insight CVT transmission. Um, there's a guy who wants it who lives in Las Vegas, so I sold it to him on eBay and he's going to pay freight charges. So what I did is I went on U-Ship and I got quotes for it and it's going to be something like 350 bucks to send it from Wisconsin to Las Vegas. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a crate for it so that it's safe. And uh, I'm starting with this pallet. You can see I cut a quarter of it. So I told the shipper it was going to be two feet by two feet by two feet. Um, so here's what I've got. I'm starting out with uh, just do the trans on top of the crate. I've got it on dollies so that when the truck comes, uh, I'll be able to just roll it down the driveway and he can have it from there. Uh, one thing. When this is all said and done, this crate's going to be almost 200 pounds probably. I'm not so into picking that up. So uh, I ordered a truck with a lift gate on my side, and I don't know what the arrangement is on the other side, so I got a lift gate on the other side too. Um, through FedEx, that shipping is, I don't know, they told me $590 or something. So uh, if you go through U-Ship, you can... Post what you're going to ship on there and get quotes. It doesn't really help you if you're trying to ship something on eBay because you never really know until after the sale what it's going to cost. But uh, I sold this transmission on eBay uh, as a buy it now. Um, and I had local pickup only on there. And the guy contacted me and said, hey, can you ship? I said, sure. Got some quotes and then he bought it. And then he PayPal'd me the uh, money for shipping as well. So all in this guy's going to have 550 bucks into this transmission to get it to him, uh, including shipping and everything. So uh, we'll get it packaged up good and I'll uh, take another video when I've got it in the crate. Well, I've been at it for most of my Saturday morning, unfortunately. Here's where I am. This is about two hours in. Pretty fancy. This guy's going to be real excited. To uncrate this fine specimen. Well, that's a lot more screwing around than I thought it would be. Here we go. We've got transmission in there. See, we've got it bolted. In, in a couple spots. Um, I just used the pieces of the pallet mostly to build the crate. She's a beaut, isn't she? And I even left some handles on there for the next guy. Um, did not turn out all that square, but it's squarish. She's in there. Probably the best part of this whole thing is I didn't spend any money on any wood, which is a good start. And also, I'm using up this big box of godforsaken Phillips head two and a half inch screws that I bought. Uh, they were like a dollar less than the square drive or the torx drive, and I regretted every minute I've used them. So now that the box is getting more empty, I can get some real screws.
but don't just strip whenever you try to hit them with the impact. There we are. Looks kind of like a beehive. Hope this guy doesn't get alarmed when a beehive shows up next to his <laughs> next to his house. All right, so there we go. Uh, pork truck can still get in there because it's got the bottom of the uh, pallet under the bottom, and uh, there it is. <laughs>